From extravagant waterfront condos to dazzling diamond grills, the world of NFL players is filled with jaw-dropping first purchases. NFL stars like Austin Eckler and Travis Kelsey chose to splurge their first NFL earnings in ridiculous ways. So did they opt for practicality, sheer luxury, or did they turn their childhood dream into reality? Some of these purchases will leave you in shock. And starting our list is Austin Eckler's gaming setup. You know, when most of us get our first big paycheck, we might think about saving, maybe a little splurge here and there. But Austin Eckler? He took his love for gaming to a whole new level. This NFL star didn't just buy a gaming console, he went all out, dropping a cool 10 grand on a state-of-the-art gaming setup. We're talking about dual monitors, top-tier PC, the works. And let's be real, who wouldn't want a game in style? But Austin didn't stop there. His investment turned into a new career path, streaming for thousands and joining celebrity gaming tournaments. Talk about leveling up in real life. And speaking of leveling up, wait till you hear about Blake Martinez and his childhood hobby that turned into a treasure trove. Blake Martinez's Pokemon cards. This guy took his childhood passion for Pokemon cards and turned it into an empire. We're not just talking about a few shiny Charizards here. Blake's collection is the stuff of legends. As a kid, he started collecting these cards, probably trading them during recess, right? Fast forward, and he's in the NFL. But those Pokemon cards? They're still with him, now worth millions. Blake's collection became so valuable that he decided to retire from football and become a full-time card collector. Talk about a plot twist. Who knew that those little pieces of cardboard retraded in the playground could one day buy a mansion? Now, let's swap these Pokemon cards for a wardrobe that's more colorful than a rainbow. Cam Newton's clothing spree. Meet Cam Newton, a man who took dressing to impress to a whole new level. When Cam got his hands on his first NFL paycheck, he didn't just go shopping. He practically bought the entire mall. We're talking over a million dollars spent on clothes. Yes, you heard that right. This guy had so many outfits, he could have dressed a small army. His fashion game was so strong, he never wore the same outfit twice. Imagine having a closet so big, it needs its own zip code. Cam's fashion sense might have been questionable at times, but his commitment to never repeating an outfit? Now that's dedication. But from filling closets, we have this player who was filling his mouth with diamonds. Alvin Kamara's Diamond Grill. When Kamara got his first big NFL paycheck, he decided to make a dazzling statement. Not with clothes, but with his smile. He went all out and got himself a full VVS Diamond Grill. We're not talking about a subtle sparkle here. This grill's so shiny, you'd need sunglasses just to have a conversation with him. It's like every time he smiles, he's doing a jewelry commercial. And let's be honest, in a world where athletes flex with cars and mansions, Kamara chose to bling out his bite. That's not just a fashion statement. It's a commitment to shining, quite literally, in every conversation. Speaking of shining, Rob Gronkowski's approach to luxury was more of a slow burn. But when he finally lit the fuse, it was worth the wait. Rob Gronkowski's chain. This guy took frugality in the NFL to legendary status. For eight long years, Gronk didn't spend a dime of his NFL earnings. That's right, while others were splurging, Gronk was saving like a squirrel prepping for a long winter. But even the most frugal squirrel gets tempted by a shiny acorn. Eventually, Gronk decided it was time to treat himself. His first big splurge? A $10,000 chain. Now, in the world of NFL luxury, that might sound like pocket change, but for Gronk, it was a big deal. It's like he went from zero to hero in the bling department overnight. And the best part? He wears it like a badge of honor, a symbol of his hard-earned success and a reminder that sometimes it's okay to treat yourself. From a carefully considered chain to Travis Kelsey's time-traveling sneakers, some purchases are just out of this world. Travis Kelsey's Nike Air Mags. When Kelsey got his hands on his first NFL paycheck, he didn't just buy an old pair of sneakers. Oh no, he went back to the future, baby. Kelsey splurged on a pair of Nike Air Mags. Yes, the self-lacing light-up shoes from Back to the Future. These aren't just shoes. They're a piece of cinematic history with a price tag that could make your wallet weep. Kelsey, a self-proclaimed sneakerhead, didn't just walk in these shoes. He practically time-traveled. But this futuristic fantasy nearly turned into a financial fiasco as he realized spending a fortune on footwear might not be the wisest investment. It's one thing to walk a mile in someone's shoes, but it's another to go almost broke in them. 
from nearly breaking the bank on sneakers to Justin Jefferson's smooth ride. Some NFL players really know how to roll in style. Justin Jefferson's Mercedes AMG. When Jefferson got his first big NFL paycheck, he didn't just go for any car. He went straight for the Mercedes AMG, a car that screams luxury power, and I've made it, with a price tag of $150,000. This isn't just a car, it's a statement on wheels. Jefferson cruising in his AMG is like a king parading in his chariot. It's not just about getting from point A to point B, it's about arriving in style, turning heads, and leaving a trail of awe. This purchase shows that when you work hard and play harder, you might as well drive the best while you're at it. Now, from luxurious rides, to heartwarming real estate. Saquon Barkley's first purchase is a touchdown for family values. Unlike his peers who splurged on luxury items for themselves, Barkley took a different route with his first NFL paycheck. He bought a house for his parents. That's right, a whole house. It was his son's way of saying thank you to the people who raised him. He spent $425,000 to give his parents a home they could call their own, a place without worries. This move by Barkley shows that sometimes, the best way to spend your money is by giving it back to those who gave you everything. From heartwarming homes to waterfront wonders, Nick Bosa's condo purchase is a splash in the real estate market. Nick Bosa's waterfront condo. When it came to spending his first NFL paycheck, Bosa didn't just buy a house, he bought a lifestyle. For a cool $1.2 million, he snagged a luxurious waterfront condo in Fort Lauderdale. With three bedrooms, three bathrooms, and a view that would make a postcard jealous, Bosa's condo is more than a home. It's a personal paradise. Imagine waking up to the sound of waves, the ocean at your doorstep, and the beach is your backyard. Bosa's not just living the dream, he's living every beach lover's fantasy. And speaking of fantasies, Aaron Donald's $6 million mansion is like something straight out of a Hollywood movie. When Donald decided to spend his first big NFL paycheck, he went all out, dropping a staggering $6 million on a luxury mansion in Calabasas. This isn't just a house, it's a fortress of splendor. Picture a place where the pool looks like a five-star resort, and the game room is every man's dream. Donald's mansion boasts signed jerseys from NFL legends, a kitchen big enough for a cooking show, and even a barber station for that fresh cut any time. It's like he's having his own private luxury hotel. From gaming setups to waterfront condos, these players know how to spend in style. But now, I turn the spotlight to you. If you were an NFL star receiving your first big paycheck, what would be your first purchase? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Would you go for luxury, practicality, or maybe something totally out of the box? Let's get the conversation rolling and see who has the most creative or extravagant idea. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.